Hello Camp Unite. Um, welcome to the Art Track. My name is Kenna Spears. I'm going to take you through a painting today. We're going to paint all four seasons on one tree, on one canvas. I want to start by saying they're all going to be different because each one of us is unique, so every painting will be different. There's a lot of ways you can change this up. Change which square you do the seasons in, and I'll probably change it a little bit today. Um, so I'm going to take you step by step through the painting process. I'm going to tell you what I did just before um, the class, just to get started, to set the, the canvas up. And then at the end, you guys can share your paintings with us and, and show us how you did. So <clears throat> to start, we're gonna, use, we're gonna use the kit that's in the Camp uh, Unite Art Track bag. All of the supplies will be included. I did take the blue and white paint and the paintbrush and I coated the entire canvas with the blue and white paint. Then, so that I can space this out properly, I took the pencil that's in the kit as well and we drew a line down the middle and across so that this could be like four window panes or just the four seasons. It's gonna help us keep it spaced out. All right, we're gonna get started. Okay, I took all of the colors. We're gonna use both the acrylic paints and the watercolor paints today. We're gonna to use them both on the same canvas. I took all of the colors and I put some out. Now save a little bit for later because you can do, use these to do all kinds of paintings. Um, I did space them all out on a paper plate. I'm gonna use the acrylic brush and that's the one with the light colored bristles and a cup of water to rinse the brush out. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna wet the brush to start so we're going to take a drop of water and we're going to mix into the edge of that black paint. It's important that we loosen the paint up and we make it a little bit thinner than what it is when it comes out of the tube. I'm going to start, and remember I painted this blue and it's already dry and I don't know if you can see it, but they're each the panel is divided into four sections. So I'm going to start by putting the ground down here at the bottom and we're just going to make a little hill Put some land down there for our tree to grow on and fill all that in with the black paint. So we're going to cover this with some snow and maybe some leaves later. Okay, and I'm going to use this line to help divide the painting out and we're going to come down that line to put the trunk of our tree in. The tree trunk gets bigger as it goes closer to the ground and it's smaller up at the top. So we're gonna start up at the top and kind of go down that line. So we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna come down the canvas down into the ground. Now, if you turn the brush, there's a wide and narrow on the brush. If you turn the brush flat, you're gonna get a big wide brush stroke. But if you turn the brush on the narrow, you'll get a thin, narrow line. And that's how we're gonna paint our tree. So I'm gonna start up here at the top and I'm gonna to try to stay on this line. And I'm just gonna run down the canvas. And if it's not straight, that's okay because trees aren't straight. We're gonna run down the canvas. Remember the tree's gonna get wider as it comes down toward the ground. And then each time I add a branch to the tree, I wanna make sure I have at least one branch in each square. But what I'm gonna do is turn that brush so that it's on the narrow. I'm gonna come into the tree and go all the way down the tree with every branch. And you'll see the tree gets bigger and bigger at the base as we go. So let's start up here and add a branch. I'm gonna turn the brush on the narrow. I'm gonna come over to the tree and go all the way back down the tree and we get a nice connection with that, with that tree branch. We can add some smaller branches go all the way down the tree so that we'll have something to put some leaves on later. I'm going to add another one over here on this side. I'm not going to have them connect at the exact same place. So I'll turn and pull and go all the way down the tree again and add a couple of small branches to that one. I'm going to let this go right off the top of the canvas. And I'm gonna make sure I add at least one down in each of these squares as well. So we'll turn and we'll go down the, the tree again. Little branch there. And I'm gonna add another one at the end. Make that a little longer. 
And let's put one over here on this side and go down the tree and you'll see the tree keeps getting bigger and bigger at the base. And then I'm gonna fill in this space right here. I'm gonna just put one more branch in there. Let it turn and go down that tree. So we kind of have the base of our tree and this is where we're going to put all of our leaves and our snow and put the four seasons in there. You're going to be able to add little birds and really make this painting your own. We're going to let this completely dry before we start adding the leaves and I will be right back as soon as the canvas is dry. Okay, our canvas is completely dry and I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to I'm going to do spring, summer, fall, and winter because I want to be able to put my leaves down here and my snow down here on this side. I'm going to start with the background on the snow for the winter side. So my canvas is completely dry. I have rinsed my brush really, really well to get all of that black paint out of the paintbrush. And I want to show you a trick so that we can get that snow. I'm going to take a piece of paper that's in our kit as well. It's just a piece of the sketch paper and I'm going to fold it so that it comes down to the line and covers that top part of our canvas and then I'm going to take another piece of paper and just put it down that line that we drew on the canvas first. I'm going to take a little bit of water into the brush and stir into the edge just a little bit of our white paint. We're going to thin it out so that it's kind of like an ink consistency, nice and thin. There's a couple of ways you can do this, but this way is the most fun. So I've got some water in the brush and some white paint. I'm going to do this one time over my palette, over the plate, so that I know the paint's not too thin. And then we're going to pull the bristles towards us and the paint is going to spray out onto the canvas and make it look like there's snow. All, make sure you pull the bristles toward you so the paint goes away from you. We're going to sprinkle that snow all over this corner. And it's your canvas and it's your snowstorm, so you put just as much snow on there as you want. I'll show you another way to add some more snow in just a minute. Now we're going to be able to move on and work on the other corners while this starts to dry and then I'm going to show you how to put some more snow on our branches to make it look like it's been a big snowstorm. So we're going to start up here in the corner that is going to be spring. So we have again spring, summer, fall, and winter and I'm going to put, show you how to put some nice spring leaves all over um, this just this one corner so we know that's going to be the, the spring season. So we didn't, our kit didn't come with any green paint. We're going to take some of the yellow paint. I'm going to scoop that up. And I'm going to take just a tiny, tiny bit of the blue paint and mix those together. It's important that you have a more yellow than you do blue because the blue will overpower and make it a really dark green really fast. I'm stirring those two paints together so I have a nice spring, a bright, bright green paint to do the spring corner. Take just a little bit more. We're still using the, the same brush. I'm going to show you how to get some leaves on there. Now I do want to put a little bird on this branch right here so I'm going to leave a little bit of space and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So I'm, I'm planning ahead and I know I want to put a little bird there. If you want to put more birds on there, you can put one in each corner. You could, um, you could put your family in there, whatever you want to do because it's, it's your painting. So I've mixed up my light green. I'm going to hold the brush at an angle the same way we've been doing it to get our limbs, our tree branches in. And I'm just going to pull towards the branch. I'm going to touch the canvas and pull toward the branch and that's going to create my spring, my spring leaves. It's okay if they touch the branch. It's okay if they don't touch the branch. But I'm going to completely fill in this corner, leaving a little bit of space. 
for my bird. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between those leaves so that I can show you how to put some little uh, flowers in there in just a minute too. Spring to me is flowers and bright green. So just touch the canvas and pull, just pull toward the branch. Again, it doesn't have to touch. And it can overlap if you want it to. I've left a little bit of space, so I'm gonna move on to the next section and I'll come back when this starts to dry and show you how to put those little flowers on there. I'm gonna take just a little bit more blue now and make a slightly darker green. This will be our summer square. So now I have a deep, darker green and we're gonna do the same thing in this corner. This time I'm gonna use more leaves. This summer the tree is all filled out. It's a little bit darker. Again, some of those leaves are gonna to touch. They're gonna to overlap. And some of them aren't even gonna to touch the branches. It's just a little dash. You touch the canvas and pull toward the tree. Just a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna rinse the brush. Rinse it really well. And I'm gonna touch the paper towel just to dry it off just a little. And we're gonna move on down. We're letting this dry as we go. I'm gonna move down to the autumn, to the fall corner. And we have a really pretty gold paint. It makes really pretty gold leaves. So I'm gonna stir the brush into the paint. We're gonna do the exact same thing again. This time, we're gonna come down to the bottom and add a few leaves. It's fall, so some of those leaves are gonna be piled up under the tree. So I'm gonna just touch the canvas at an angle and pull toward the branch again. Gold paint is usually a little bit transparent. That means you can see through it. So you may have to put the paint on a little bit thicker or go back and do a second coat if you can still see through it. I'm gonna put a couple of leaves down here in the air because they've fallen off the tree. And then I'm gonna come down here and put a few leaves on the ground around the base of our tree. Just really cover that up. So those tr leaves have already fallen off the tree. Let's rinse the brush one more time. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush. We're gonna go into the white paint this time. I'm gonna stir into the edge of the white paint. I'm gonna show you how to add some um, snow to the top of our branch and everywhere there's a little corner in our tree or there's a little crevice we're going to pile some snow up in there. I'm going to hold the brush so that the handle is down and that the bristles are pointed upward and I'm just going to tap along the top edge of the branch. So it looks like we have some snow everywhere you think that snow would land and kind of pile up, you're gonna put your snow there. And we're gonna come down here to the bottom and make sure we have some snow down there on the ground as well. Just tap. Pile that snow all over. the ground as well. Ooh, time out. <laughs> Gotta wipe that up. OK, 
Okay, where was the brush? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that brush in the water for just a second. We're gonna use a cotton swab. This should be in your kit also. Um, I'm gonna show you how to add just a little bit more snow on there. And we have silver paint in the kit as well. So if you wanted to take the cotton swab, I'm gonna just dip into the white paint. And I'm gonna put just a few dots of bigger snowflakes right under the branches to add just a little bit more snow. And then I'm gonna dip the same cotton swab right into the edge of that silver paint. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of silver down to the bottom and some to our snow up here to give it some sparkle. Now I'm gonna turn that cotton swab over and we're gonna use the clean side to add some flowers up here. Our, uh, our bright green leaves in spring, they're starting to dry. Now we have a nice dark purple in the kit, but I'm gonna take a little bit of that white paint with the clean end of that cotton swab and I'm gonna take just a tiny, tiny bit of purple and mix those two colors together. It takes more white then it does purple. That purple goes a long, long way. I'm gonna stir those paints together with that cotton swab. We're gonna come up and add some flowers the same way we added the snow down here at the bottom. We're just gonna tap. You can do these in twos or threes. Just add a little bit of color up there. to our spring corner. You can add as many flowers as you like. And I wanna show you how to put that little bird in there too. And like I said, if you wanna do more than one, it's your painting, you are welcome to do that. I'm gonna show you on here first and then I will show you up here because it's hard to see and it's really tiny and getting that shape right. I'm gonna use red. Um, if you wanted to mix some colors and use a different color, you could do that. I'm gonna take a drop of water and just stir into that red paint so you guys can see it on here. When I do my classes, I always tell my students that a bird starts out as an egg and that's when we're painting, we're gonna start out with an egg shape as well. So I'm gonna start out with an oval and that's not gonna show up on there. See if I can do it on here. So I'm gonna start with an oval. It's an egg shape. And then we do a upside down triangle at the bottom and that's gonna be the bird's tail. And then we put a circle up at the top and that's gonna be the bird's head but it needs to sit down into the oval just a little bit so that we end up with that little bird shape that's sitting on the branch. We don't even have to do any details. We don't have to do a beak or anything like that. He's looking away from us. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right here on the canvas. We're gonna start with that little egg shape right on the top edge of our branch. I'm gonna put a little triangle down at the bottom for the tail and a little circle up at the top for the head. And that just moved. And there is our little bird sitting on the branch. Now again, if you wanna add more birds, you wanna switch which corners these are in, you can also turn this into a window frame by painting over that line that we drew in there when we started, and you can make it look like you're looking through the window at each season. You can change this up however you want, um, and then feel free to share your pictures with us when you're finished so we can, we can see your paintings. So I see art as an anti-drug, and I can speak really to my experience and I 
I grew up and around it. I saw it. It was in my house. It was at my friends' houses. Um, I was one of the fortunate ones that never, I've never tried an illegal substance. Um, I've seen it all my life. But in high school, I was introduced to art and to painting. And it's something that, it gives you something to do. It's a creative outlet. It gives you a way to express yourself. You, it's something you can do with your friends. It's something you can do alone. You don't have to have anyone else in the room or around you. You don't have to have a lot of space to create art. You can have a sketch pad and a pencil. You can have um, just a, a really inexpensive little paint set and just normal paper and paint and create. You don't have to have a lot to do it, but it gives you something to focus on. It takes everything else away from you for a couple of hours. If you're just sitting there concentrating on creating something, even if it's just for you and nobody else is gonna see it, you're in that world for just a couple of hours and you don't have to think about anything else. Everything else can kind of just slip away and you're there in that space for, for that amount of time. And then you have something to show for it when you're finished if you want to show it. <laughs> so I'm really missing your smiling faces this year. I was so looking forward to getting to show you how to paint in person and hear your stories and see your beautiful paintings after each art track. Um, I would love for you to share your paintings with me. You can find me on Facebook under Kenna's Creative Canvas. That's K-E-N-N-A um, on Facebook. I'm, love to see your paintings if you want to send them to me or have your parents send them to me. I, I love it when you guys share with me or even if it's not this class, anything you create with our art kit, I'd love for you to share that with me. I have classes all over in different counties so you can find me through that Facebook page also. Lots of kids uh, and they're all family friendly, friendly classes.